Hey bitch and welcome back, welcome back to another video of me talking about people I hate. <sighs> you guys have been wanting this to turn into a weekly or bi-weekly video series and I'm here for it bitch, I'm here for it. I love you guys and I love a fun series and this Craigslist horse ad series is honestly probably my favorite video series just because Craigslist horse people are insane. Every single time I sit down to film one of these videos, I think, I'm probably not gonna find anything today. What do you know? I honestly half expect that the next time I film a video, we're gonna see day by day advertising their new full, you know what I mean? That's how great these videos are. <laughs> Before we get into this video though, I need to say a massive thank you to this video's sponsor, which is of course Established Titles. <sighs> I know most of you guys are already lords or ladies. If you're not, I know that you definitely want to become one, probably today, especially because Established Titles is a great gift for the holidays. I cannot stress this enough. If you're unfamiliar, Established Titles is a souvenir proclamation that is sent to you in the mail that basically is a dedicated one square foot plot of land in Scotland, allowing you to become a lord or lady. All of these title packs are based on historic Scottish land ownership customs. It's so funny, I have links hung up at my barn as a lot of you guys know, and I also have reins here at my house. Rain is now Lady Rain. Established titles allows you to change your name on plane tickets, credit cards, and so much more. Established titles is not just a fun gift to give to your loved one, and it's not just a way of owning a souvenir plot of land in Scotland. It's also mostly for Scotland wood conservation and preservation, as well as across the world. So Established titles partners with One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future, and they plant one tree for every order placed on their website, helping reforestation efforts globally which is so important so if you guys are interested in picking up a custom title pack for you or any of your loved ones you guys can definitely click my link to get your discount and the first 200 people get a plot right next to mine in Scotland so I'd love to see you guys over there and thank you so much for supporting established titles and thank you so much to established titles for supporting me as much as they do they truly are just the best so thank you and Let's get into it. As you guys know, I'm moving to Washington State in literally just less than two weeks. So my whole house is hectic and crazy and this background is not gonna be here for much longer. All that I do for this video, because I got a few people who ask me how I'm finding these places, usually what I do is I literally just type in horse on Craigslist and I see what comes up. And it's bad, dude. It's not even just one place. It's every single state across the US or even North America. It's, it's insane. Anybody who has access to Craigslist knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh my god. This is almost the same price as my current boarding facility. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Again, what is up with the lack of shelters? It looks like there's kind of a shelter, but not really in the back over there. Do boarding facilities just not think that horses need adequate shelter or something? I mean, that's just hilarious. I, I love it when boarding facilities literally put in the most minimal effort possible. It looks like that is a wash rack. <laughs> Oh, what is that? No better timing to take a photo of your beautiful facility than in the middle of a rainstorm. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, three stalls available. Where? Where are your stalls? This is just like a few panels put up. I love how people put up a few panels and then they call it a stall. No, 22 by 44 feet. Yeah, so then it's just panels. It's not an actual stall. Dirt. <laughs> Wait, I love how he just puts dirt, period. We supply feed. I don't think I trust that. I don't think I want somebody whose facility looks like this to give my horse grain. Tack room, wash rack, trailer parking. Where? Trails right from the stalls. 300 a month per horse. I love it when people offer something that's already free as part of the board. No arena, nothing like that to ride on the property, but you can ride off the property. Well, guess what? You would be able to ride off the property anyway because it's free, it's public trails. If you're around a public area, you have riding trails. Like you don't 
pay a boarding facility extra because they have access to free public land. <sighs> oh my god. You know it's bad, bro. You, you know it's bad when the title says backyard horse boarding. First of all, that sounds like a puppy mill. It sounds like backyard breeding, to be honest. That's the first thing I thought when I read that. But why would you advertise your facility as a backyard horse boarding facility, but you're still charging $250? If you're gonna advertise as a backyard facility, don't charge people rates that are the equivalent of real boarding facilities, right? Like normal horse boarding facilities that actually have real amenities charge people, depending on your geological location, anywhere from 200 a month to 800 a month or even upwards of 1,000 a month depending on how high end of a boarding facility you want to be at or even if it's a training facility or it specializes um, in something like dressage or hunter jumper. And that's pretty standard. I mean, I've lived all across the United States and I've boarded at tons of high-end boarding facilities and I've boarded at tons of family-owned facilities that are all honestly just as good. They might have some, you know, lower-end amenities, but they're still pretty decent and have arenas. All of the family-owned facilities I've ever boarded at have been pretty good and they've usually costed me roughly around three or four hundred dollars a month. When you're claiming that you're a backyard facility, right, you're already wanting people to lower their expectations, but you're still putting a competitive price point to a real boarding facility on your ad. Maybe they have real shit, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being overly critical. Am I though? <laughs> You know what I mean? Am I being overly critical? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, for fuck's sake, dude, your fence is falling apart. And that's the main photo in the ad. Backyard boarding arrangement for the right fit. Space for one or two more horses in a shared corral with a seven-year-old sweet Mustang mare. General amenities include 24-7 turnout corral with shade. It's not a turn... <laughs> Stop. It's not a turnout corral if that's where the horses live, right? Like, what does that even mean? It's a 24-7 living space, okay? 24-7 turnout corral with shade basically means that all the horses are just living in a tiny corral. Automatic water, hay feed storage on site, space to bathe and groom, so they don't even have a wash rack, they just have space. Quick access to a local river, neighborhood racetrack, and the mountains. All of that is free. Stop advertising stuff to people when all of those things are already free. Space to park horse trailer, bathroom access, wow. Daily TLC for your horse. Again, what does that even mean? Occasional riding buddy. Actually, that's worth it. Looking for someone who is kind, respectful, down to earth towards people and animals. Preference to fellow women. I'm sorry, are you a sexist or what? Why can't men board there? Rates, 200 a month for one horse, 300 a month for two horse, includes general amenities only. What are the other amenities? Owner comes daily to feed? Wait, so this person's not even the owner? For any days that the owner cannot come to care for the horse, I can offer services at $20 a day? Wait, 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 wait. So you're not even paying for full service, right? Because if the owner's not there, then you have to pay this bitch an additional 20 bucks a day to take care of your horse. What even is this place? I don't even understand what this even means. This is like so shady on so many levels. So they're not even giving you an accurate price point. They're literally saying that, you know, your board could go up and down every day unless you want to come out and take care of your horse. The whole point of boarding a horse and paying for full care is that somebody's always gonna be taking care of your horse and you don't have to worry about it, you know what I mean? What do you, I don't even know, we're moving on. That one was, that one was crazy. That one was a doozy. Oh, oh my God, literally the very next ad. The last few videos we've been going over the outrageously expensive horse prices on Craigslist. There's also a point in Craigslist ads where horses are either way too expensive, like way overpriced, or they're ludicrously cheap that it's like really suspicious. This ad says female horse, $1,000. Nine years old female horse, sweet and loving, recently have has a six months BB girl. 
looking for boon home for mom so many things wrong with that beyond just the grammar but it really kind of seems like man this poor horse jeez jesus it seems like what they are doing is they just kind of wanted the baby and now they're just getting rid of the mom because they don't want the mom anymore that's sad oh <laughs> make manufacturer over to the side toro bread <laughs> bitch Bitch, I might make that the title of this video, honestly. I've never I've never seen anybody type out thoroughbred like Toro bread. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling it that. I actually think that's the best thing I've seen all day. This horse looks ludicrously skinny. For just having a baby, I mean, this horse is lacking so much muscle definition. It's really skinny. But I mean, what do you expect from somebody who spells thoroughbred Toro bread? I have low expectations, honestly, for anybody on Craigslist. But you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much, and I am going to do these bi-weekly, so I'm super excited about that. <sighs> Let me know what other videos you guys want to see, and don't forget to check out Established Titles. Don't forget that the first 200 people get a plot right next to mine. You you can click my link down below the first one in the description to check them out but otherwise I'll see you in my next video bye